Hey guys, this is Ray from Phone Arena and you're watching our video review of the Sony Xperia Z. This is Sony's new flagship device and as a matter of fact, it is the first flagship Android smartphone to launch um, in 2003, so Sony may have a little bit of head start here, but don't worry about it because we're sure that the other players on the field will soon enter the fray with uh, handsets of their own. But let's concentrate on the Xperia Z here because the manufacturer has tried really hard to make this device special in our eyes. For example, it has a brand new camera sensor, the Exmor RS. As you know, it's a 13 megapixel camera sensor here. It has a very large 5 inch 1080p display, a quad core CPU, and pretty much all the prerequisites that uh, have the potential to make it a breakthrough smartphone. So here it is, the Sony Xperia Z, a beauty among Android beasts. But make no mistakes about it, the Xperia Z is a beast in its own. In contrast to its previous top-end um, smartphones, this time Sony has decided to go with an all-glass design, which means the front and the back are pieces of glass. It has this very nice, simplistic, rectangular shape, which makes it uh, stand out from the Android crowd out there. It's a really striking um, design, very stylish, accentuated by this um, stylish uh, power and lock key here on the side. The handset is still quite thin at 7.9 millimeters, so overall it doesn't feel too... Um, it's not uh, too heavy or too large in your hand, but of course uh, if you want to do something quickly with just one hand, uh, it will be quite difficult to do so. So using two hands here will be the, the standard solution. Each and every connector on the sides of the device is covered with these protective flaps here. Uh, this is uh, made for two reasons. First, it, it, the handset has a cleaner look this way. And second, um, these flaps here are actually needed because the handset is, has rugged features. It is dust and water resistant. You can submerge this device uh, in up to one meter of uh, water and keep it there for about um, 30 minutes and it should work once you get it out. The volume rocker and power and lock key, these here are um, nothing to write home about really. Uh, it would have been better if they had a more clicky feel when pressed, but still they aren't too bad the way they are right now. The Sony Xperia Z is equipped with a 5 inch display with a full HD resolution 1080 by 1920 pixels. As you can imagine, everything is extremely clear and detailed on this display. There is no jagginess whatsoever. Even the smallest details and the smallest text is incredibly, incredibly easy to read. When it comes to the browser and uh, to text like this one here, of course, it would be much more comfortable if you just zoom in like that. But the thing is, the point is that everything is very smooth here and you won't be able to notice even a hint of jagginess. In terms of overall image quality, um, this is a great display, awesome image quality, but the viewing angles leave something to be desired and we would have liked it more if there was a bit more contrast and saturation to the colors here, you know, just to, just to make things a bit more livelier. Outdoor visibility is also pretty good as long as you have your brightness set to the maximum level and the sun is not shining directly right here in the screen. One thing we have to mention about this display is that Sony has used its Mobile Bravia 2 engine which is used to enhance the quality when viewing images and video. So for example, if you're looking at uh, pictures like this in the built-in gallery of the device. The image quality is really high. It's, uh, things really look great because it, 
it boosts the sharpness a bit, uh, makes the colors a bit more vivid and overall it's a great pleasure to um, enjoy pictures in video like this. The bad thing about uh, the Bravia engine is that it really works only for when viewing pictures and videos. So for example, if you're looking at pictures but inside the web browser or in Facebook, you won't get the benefits of the mobile Bravia engine. Thankfully, the Sony Xperia Z comes straight with Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, uh, so customers will be getting all the major new Android features. Unfortunately, it's not Android 4.2, but we hope that Sony will be quick to release a software update to Android 4.2. However, what users will be looking at will not be Android 4.1 in its pure form, it will be Sony's custom user interface, which is quite good in our opinion, which this is one of the most uh, polished custom user interfaces for Android. Of course, the main concept is pretty much the same as with other, with every other launcher or, um, or other such user interface. You have your multiple home screen pages, you have your icons and widgets and so on. But Sony has changed um, the graphical uh, elements here and there, like these icons here, like here, all the, um, the core applications like the dialer or the contacts or the calendar are tweaked to be more in line with the rest of the user interface. What we really like about this UI, as we said, is that it's very polished. For example, check this uh, cool animation if we uh, get this widget here. Immediately uh, this uh, recycle bin here pops up at the bottom of the screen and check this cool animation out. It's very, very neat stuff. Shows that Sony pays attention to the little details. Um, and adds little subtle, uh, subtle details and uh, stuff like that in order to improve the overall appearance of its user interface and thus the experience of its users. The on-screen QWERTY keyboard has also been changed with this one here. What we don't like about it is that Sony has um, hidden the dot symbol in this um, additional page of symbols here. It's right here the dot and not it's not placed next to the space bar as it is more common. Which means that when you're typing something on the keyboard you have to use the double press on the space bar um, uh, combo in order to make the handset draw a dot. As you can imagine the landscape QWERTY keyboard is very spacious and typing on it is as probably as comfortable as it gets on a smartphone. A cool feature that uh, Sony has added are the small apps which are found in the multitasking screen here. As we open our multitasking, we have these applications at the bottom of the screen. They include a calendar, a timer, a note and um, a voice note option here. As we choose one of them, we get this little uh, window type of app. We can move it around and it appears on top of whatever you're looking at. So it's very convenient because, for example, you may be inside the browser checking out a web page and you may want to uh, draw a quick note here. This is all possible with these uh, very handy small apps. If these are not enough for you, you can add additional ones by installing them from the, from the Play Store. Specs-wise, the Sony Xperia Z has all that is necessary in order to survive in the wild Android jungle. It has the Snapdragon S4 Pro quad-core processor, it has 2 gigs of RAM and it has the Adreno 320 GPU and thankfully this is enough in order to guarantee a very very smooth performance all throughout the handset. The interface, the applications that you may install, everything runs very smoothly even at this uh, high 1080p screen resolution. In terms of um, 
storage space. The, the, the device comes with 16 gigabytes, which may be a small amount for some. For this reason, the handset also features a micro SD card slot. The built-in internet web browser is Google Chrome, which is pretty good here. The stock browser from uh, ICS, which we all know and love, is missing here. But Chrome gets the job done. There is a very slight hint of lag before your every move with that browser, but it's so small that uh, probably most user will most users will never um, never notice it. We like uh, Chrome because it has very comfortable uh, tab feature. Switching between tabs is very convenient. It uh, automatically increases the size of uh, certain fonts, certain parts of the text in order to make reading more comfortable. And it also has a very smart double tap to zoom feature. So overall it's a great browser. We just uh, think that it needs a bit more optimization on Google's part. Sadly, one of the bad things about Google Chrome is that it does not support Adobe Flash Player as um, the previous Android browser, so you have to um, manually install the Flash Player from Adobe's site and use it with another um, browser that you can install from uh, the Play Store. As far as connectivity options go, here uh, the handset is very well equipped, it supports LTE, HSPA Plus for up to 42 megabits per second downlink and um, it also has HDMI through the micro, micro USB port, it has Bluetooth 4 uh, and uh, also NFC support. So whatever you may think of, the Xperia Z has it. The camera interface of the Sony Xperia Z is a very good one. We enjoyed using it because it's a very um, well structured. You have the most important options right here, easily accessible for you. And then all the other uh, functions that you may want, neatly hidden here in this sub menu. In addition, you have these additional shooting modes here, including uh, the burst shot mode. Uh, you can add picture effects, change the scene types, and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, we weren't blown away by the picture quality that the uh, handset um, achieves, which is a shame because Sony has used its newest sensor, the Exmor RS, and a 30 megapixel camera sensor at that, but um, the pictures are just not good enough. For example, when you are taking pictures in outdoor daylight conditions, the best possible conditions for taking pictures, details appear a bit muddy. And on top of that, uh, the, the overall images may, uh, may appear a bit dark at times. You can use the built-in HDR function in order to resolve this and most of the times it works but sometimes it doesn't. Uh, the bottom line is that pictures could be much better. When you're shooting images indoors in brightly lit rooms, pictures tend to be pretty good with uh, a bit of noise but not too much. Naturally as the light starts to go down and get dimmer and dimmer, the images also start to get more and more noise. Thankfully the colors remain as they should be, remain true to their uh, realistic natural form even when there is not too much light in the scene. The LD flash is not too powerful but it will allow you to uh, take a picture of something that is even in complete darkness. Just do not expect any breathtaking results. The same observations are true when shooting 1080p video. Uh, once again, there is this general lack of sharp, of fine details that we experienced with this handset. But other than that, the, the video is uh, pretty decent. Sony has added this uh, cool functions, function here to shoot uh, HDR video, which we which may improve the, the video quality in case you are shooting in uh, lower lit conditions or at night. The Xperia Z has the Walkman player by Sony which is a pretty decent 
uh, music player is not um, too packed with uh, all kinds of unneeded features. It has just the the uh, basic and most important things, but it also uh, builds on this with some additional features like um, some sound enhancement tools like Clear Audio Plus here or Sony's um, XLoud function, which are all uh, pretty good and do a very um, useful thing to the audio. In addition, of course, you have the equalizer here with many presets to choose from and the ability to customize it as you wish. The, the, the handset comes with um, headphones by Sony, which are pretty good. We really like the sound that's coming out of them. Um, but be sure to choose the right ear gels for you so that the headset can fit um, tightly into your ears because otherwise you won't be able to hear pretty much any bass. As you can imagine, the Xperia Z is wonderful for uh, watching uh, videos thanks to its large 5-inch display and high resolution. But with so many things to do on your smartphone, uh, it's normal for every user to start worrying about the battery life of their handset. Thankfully, the Xperia Z uh, fares pretty well in this respect, even with this gigantic uh, screen here. If you are a heavy user, the, you should have no problems uh, with this uh, device because it should last for at least a full day. If you're a moderate user, we don't see a problem for it to, uh, to last even two days of usage. But Sony has even added a new um, stamina mode here, which is essentially a tool that allows you to boost the, the battery level even further by choosing certain applications like this here. You get a list of all of your applications on the device and you can choose which one of them you want to add to this stamina mode list. What this does is when you turn off your device like that, you, when you lock the screen and put it to sleep mode, um, what the handset does is to automatically cut every power to these applications which are there. This may include even phone calls or text messages, but we don't think anyone would like to do that. The main thing is that you can add these applications here and uh, the headset will automatically cut the power to all of these apps once you lock the screen and thus increasing your battery life at least a bit. When it comes to call quality, the Xperia Z is mediocre, unfortunately. The earpiece here is uh, a bit on the weaker side, meaning that if you're in a noisy environment, you may have some trouble hearing your colors. Plus, um, the sound quality through the earpiece is uh, not very high. Things, the, the, the voices that are coming through the earpiece are quite high in terms of uh, frequency range and they're also um, pre, uh, sounding pretty digital. The microphone, on the other hand, is also pretty bad. <laughs> if uh, the callers on the other end of the line have their volume boosted to the max, they may even um, hear you in a distorted way or over-modulated uh, kind of uh, way. Thankfully, lowering the volume um, by your callers will uh, probably remedy this issue. It helped when we were using the handset, but uh, this all comes to show that the earpiece and the microphone combo aren't, aren't of the very, um, of the highest quality possible, which is a shame because the, the Sony Xperia Z is a top-end smart, smartphone for customers who are expecting the best. Sony's Xperia Z is uh, one of the very first flagship smartphones to hit the market in 2013 and we have to admit that we're quite impressed with this um, device. It has this exquisite old glass design, it has the, uh, the gigantic 5 inch 1080p display, it has its uh, quad core processor, so by the looks of it, it has it all that is needed to be a winner. And really compared to the current flagships of um, other manufacturers, 
um, there is really no competition for the Xperia Z. But uh, we have to mention that it has a certain head start in this area. So we'll have to wait and see what the other manufacturers are going to roll out in 2013. And most of them will do so pretty soon, like Samsung and HTC. So um, this is when it will get interesting. Still, we are pretty sure that the Xperia Z will remain a relevant player on the market even when those other devices get introduced because it has some great features, uh, it's a very well-rounded smartphone with really no major issues. This was our video review of the Sony Xperia Z. If you'd like to learn more about it, feel free to check us out at phonearena.com.